At a key economic meeting held at the end of 2015, China's policymakers pledged to take steps to push forward a supply-side structural reform in 2016 and beyond, supporting growth through new demand and productivity. It is seen as an innovative move to guide the world's second-largest economy under the new normal, and a proactive decision to make it internationally more competitive. The supply-side structural reform will cut excessive capacity and improve the quality of China's economic development. It will also become a new driving force for growth. Experts say China's push for a supply-side reform is markedly different from the massive stimulus policies in the past. As China's economy enters a new normal of slower speed but higher quality growth, economists say flattening stimulus measures would boost growth in the short term, but will not help the economy's long-term development while risking huge waste. Massive stimulus measures will not be as effective as those in the past, which is why the government is focusing more on the supply-side structural reform. The supply side reform will put more emphasis on structural adjustment in innovation and technology, which in turn could make the economic structure more efficient. By launching the supply side structural reform, we will make effective use of production factors and effectively boost growth on the demand side. In addition to structural adjustment, experts say China's supply-side reform will solidify sustainable development of its economy in the long run.